I started taking photographs in 1976, the long hot summer of 1976. And my first camera, real camera, was a Zenit E. I played around with it for some time and discovered that I could do something that I thought was quite interesting. Now I don't have the Zenith anymore, so I'm going to use this Practica as an example. Now, as it's a single lens reflex camera, you can take the lens off. What I discovered was if I put the lens on this way round, then my camera lens, my standard 50mm lens, actually turned into a, a, a massive magnifying lens. I thought I'd invented the macro lens. Turns out other people had had that idea as well, but hey. So last year I bought a 7 Sigma 60mm f2.8 macro lens for my Olympus and I absolutely hated it. So when I came home I thought maybe I could do something similar to the way I did before. But back in the 70s I basically just held the lens on and that isn't, well, that isn't very good. So I did a bit of research and I found that I could buy an adapter on eBay. This adapter fits in the filter thread of my 50mm f1.8 Practica and that means that I can fit it now reversed if I combine the dots up onto my Nikon. So now I have a 50mm f1.8 macro lens ish. It's got a very limited range of focus. Uh, it doesn't work at all well at f1.8. Uh, for me it works better at about f8 or f11. I set my shutter speed to 1 250th of a second and I put the camera on auto ISO. Then basically if I'm going to photograph this I look through the viewfinder and I hunt backwards and forwards until the image is sharpest and then I take the picture. Uh, for me this works just as well as the 7 Artisan 60mm f2.8 lens that I had last year and it has literally stuck on there. Try to do it properly. There you go. Right, not stuck on there. This uh, lens and the camera that came with it I bought for £9 which was the camera body, three lenses, flash gun and a case. This was about £2.50 off of eBay so I reckon I've got a macro lens here for less than £10. Is it brilliant? No. Is it better than the Sigma? Uh, well, it's not actually, no, because it's more limited than the Sigma. I kept saying Sigma, I mean to say Artisan. I do have a uh, Nikkor uh, F105 macro lens, which I'll be uh, going out shooting with this afternoon. Uh, but for less than £10, you can get macro results. I'm going to put some uh, images into the gallery at the end and sometimes you'll see that the focus isn't quite right. So you have to bear in mind that this is not doing what it's designed to do. Does it work though? Yeah, it does. It does work. But you've got to be patient with it. You can't expect perfect results every time. You've got to take lots and lots of pictures, which is why in the case of this one, I have this on uh, continuous shot high. So I'm taking, although it's a, quite an old camera, I'm taking five or six frames a second. So if I'm moving backwards and forwards very, very slightly, one of those is going to give me a decent shot, I hope. See what you think. But a macro lens for less than a tenner, you've got to give it a try. Really, you've got to give it a try.